kind of like this. Now that I know it works. Postulate four, right angles are equal to one another. I have no idea how we went about proving it, but in LMS there's a proof that right angles are equal to one another. We would just think, okay, it's 90 degrees, it's 90 degrees, so they're going to be equal. But Euclid actually wrote a pretty elegant, and most of his proofs are very elegant and very, very easy to read through if you got into it. Postulate four, this one, this one explanation is saved to the class to write up on the paper. Postulate four says if a straight line falls on two lines, uh, two, if, if a straight line falls on two straight lines, makes the interior angle to the same side less than two right angles, the straight line, if it's in indef indefinitely, meets on the side on which the angles which are less than two right angles. Okay, translate that into English. It basically says that if, a, if you have a transverse line, we'll call this one the transverse line, if the two angles inside that transverse line on one side of them are less than 180, less than two right angles, the lines somewhere out in space are going to intersect. Now, this is a postulate of five is also referred to as the parallel postulate, and that's part of your right sheet. Why, why can that be referred to the parallel postulate? Now, off the side to help you out, what are the two states? A line on a plane, two lines on a plane, there's only possibility of two different relationships between them. What is that? Parallel or intersecting. Parallel or intersecting. This defines how they can be what? Intersecting. So the other case would be if they're not intersecting, they would have to be parallel. Now I said there were five common notions. The first one is things, things which are equal, equal the same thing, also equal one another. In our modern English, we call that the transitive property. So let's just, instead of using math, this table and that table over there are equal. This table and that table over there are equal. So what can we say about this table and that table? This one equals that one, this one equals that one. By the transitive property, we know that this table equals that one. So an object labeled A equals an object labeled B. Object label B, object label C equals object label B. So then A and C are going to be equal. Don't take advantage of that touch screen thing when you don't mean to. Notion number two, if equals are added to the sum, if equals are added to equals, then the whole are equals. Okay, for this example, I just had A plus B are equal. Makes sense, right? Two plus, two equals two, four equals four, four equals two plus two. They're all four. Now then if we throw in the C, then A plus C equals B plus C, or if you want to be really fancy, you can say A plus C equals D, B plus C equals E, D equals E, right? Stuff we all understand, but some guy way back in the 350 BC came up with this and stated it very simply. And these were the notions that he used to for his whole book. No, it doesn't work. Notion number five. We would just say this is addition. When, when in modern world, subtraction is what? To subtract two numbers, we add? The opposite. Opposites. This is audience participation, so if you don't start helping me out, I'm going to have to start deducting from your grade. So then, again, it's the same thing. A equals B, then A minus C equals B minus C. Just like the other one. Okay, this next one. Things which co coincide with one another equal one another. I will let you try to look that one up on the internet and see what exactly the definition and the meaning of this common notion are. I'll tell you what, it has something to do 
with, with a thing in three space and another thing coming into three space and taking its place and actually coming up with the same amount of space. In notion number five, we all know this one, we've heard it before, that the whole is greater than the parts. I'm not really sure what Euclid meant by it, but I know that a whole organization like Mayville State University, that's hard to say sometimes, is better than the math department. The whole is better than just one department, or the whole is better than all the departments and all the administrations all put together. We become an entity into ourselves, and somehow this part here actually gets more into philosophy too a little bit if you think about it.